How angry do you think he'll be? I'm sure he won't mind. We haven't been gone for that long. You have nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about? I am being eternally crucified by him. Exactly. So how much worse can it get? He is a monster. I am sure he will think of some other horrific way to punish me. He's not such a bad guy when you get to know him. Besides, you did shatter the Elden Ring. Are you saying I deserve this? What I am saying is that you should just let me do the talking. At least he lets you leave the tree and go for walks. I haven't been outside for so long. How are our children doing? Well, Makilla is lost, and Melania is searching for him. Melania? She's blind. Someone else should be searching. Ronnie is a blue doll. What are you talking about? Rikard is a blasphemous serpent. A blasphemous serpent? And Radon is a Godfrey fanboy. It sounds like you're the one who should be crucified. Well, I sort of am being crucified thanks to you. Also, Morgoth is loitering outside of the tree, begging to be let in. I haven't been outside for so long. I even miss my omen twins. Merica, this is why you're being crucified. Let me speak with him. I will try to make sure that you aren't crucified even harder. Okay, I'll just wait here. Apologies for being gone so long. You better have a good reason for leaving the tree, Radagon. Even though you're my favorite little sword, I am still very cross with you. Thank you, but please don't turn me into a sword again. But you're such a good sword. Who's a good sword? Please don't make me say- th Who's a good sword, Radagon? I'm a good sword. You're goddamn right. And don't you ever forget it. Anyway, I wanted to discuss Merica. Oh, that treacherous slag. Uh, yes. Thanks to her, I'm missing lots of my great runes. The other outer gods won't stop making fun of me. Do you know what the formless mother calls me? I do not. She calls me a big, goofy, broken, fish-faced slug. That hurts my feelings, Radagon. I am sure it does. And do you know what happens when my feelings are hurt? You rise above it and move on? I start crucifying people, that's what happens. So I'm not letting Merica down if that's what you're asking. Well, could you maybe let us take it in turns? I don't like her being the one who is always crucified. I'm not going to crucify my favorite little sword, you silly little Newman. But I'd really prefer it if you- I do not want to crucify you. Aw, oh, come on, not even a little bit? I'm not crucifying you. All right, well, can you please spare Merica from any further punishment? Well, you did leave the Erd Tree for a long time, but fine. Thank you. As long as you do one thing for me. Please don't turn me into a sword. Promise to stop your wretched family from any further fighting. I don't want my precious great runes getting damaged. I have a large family that I can barely keep track of, but sure. Good news, Merica. I'm not going to be crucified anymore? I can leave the Erd Tree? Well, no. Damn you, Radagon. You won't be crucified any harder, if that helps. Not really, but thanks. I asked if we could take turns, but he kept wanting to turn me into a sword. Aren't we already taking turns? Aren't we the same person? Isn't the Elden Beast contained within you? I don't know, Merica. None of this really makes sense. The Erd Tree is a wacky place. You can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> My wrists hurt. Mine too! Subscribe or I will turn you into a sword.